Hi, Mike Kennedy with you here. Uh, this little video I did on the Emerson HP, uh, excuse me, HD 720p, seemed to generate a few comments and a few questions. Uh, so I wanted to address one. Evidently, people are having trouble with this camera glitching. And yeah, the camera glitches, but I think I've tracked it down. The camera is not SDHC compatible. So I guess as you go to the higher and larger cards, they're formatted differently or whatever. And this camera just can't handle it. So it glitches. Uh, right now I've got an older, slower card in here. It's a non-labeled scan disk card. It's only a one gigabyte, so I only can get nine minutes of HD. But I'm going to try to find a two gigabyte class two card, I think. The class four cards definitely glitch. Uh, I've had two class four cards. One glitches more than the other. Uh, so that's the story. I don't think it's the camera itself because when I play the video back on the camera, uh, I don't get the glitches. I do have mosquito cell in my car. Um, I know you can introduce glitches in processing too. Um, you can introduce uh, time lags between the audio and the video during processing also. So you gotta make sure your computer's fast enough. Um, I remember even some comments about uh, some camera that people, a company was offering and uh, they decided not to even include 1080p in the camera and they're just this was a better camera the justification for that was that most people's computers would choke on that anyway and uh, you know I see some justification for that that the cameras would choke the the uh, computers which are processing it. So there is some truth to that. But again, I think uh, someone made the comment, well, you should get a Sony or a, or a Canon camera instead of this Ericsson camera. And it's like, gee, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, spend a... Uh, this is a $25 camera. That's why I was reviewing it. Obviously, probably any Sony product or any Canon products is going to beat any $25 camera easily. So... Uh, you know, once you go up into the $100 cameras, uh, hopefully they're going to beat it easily. But this review on the Emerson was specifically because it was a $25 camera that I bought. I wanted to see what it was like. And uh, I would say it's good for exactly what I'm doing now, a talking head camera. Uh, it doesn't do well when you move the camera, uh, the scan rate or frame rate if you want to here it was still uh, isn't that quick so you get wavy lines when for straight objects when they move in the background and different things uh, the lens isn't super high quality in this so there's a lot of flare situations uh, the sensor itself isn't that expensive in the camera so it's best to keep things kind of near the same density you know in other words you don't want the 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 bride in the white dress next to the groom in the black tuxedo. It's not going to work well with a camera like this. One thing I didn't mention with this camera before too, and I'll try to include some footage later, is this camera has an LED light so that you can take pictures when it's dark. So we'll do a clip of that and include that in as well. But here we go. $25 camera. Not too shabby for $25, but certainly can be beat by any name brand camera. Here we go with our Emerson 720p HD camera. Uh, now we're testing the light. It's about uh, 7 o'clock here in Windham, Maine. Here's a video You can see it's dark in the car. It's dark. I'm going to turn the light on. 
Oh, look at that. We can see. It's funny, the light appears to be over to one side a little bit. And turn it around. There we go. We've got two uh, really bright white LEDs that are now shining in my face. So that's the light. 